I'm Xavier Bourg, Global Ground and Rail Leader for Siva Logistics. We can see clearly that the demand has softened, especially in the supply chain segments close to consumer spending, like consumer retail, e-com, last mile. On top of that, the fuel prices have decreased, even if they remain pretty high, and the combination has resulted in a pretty sharp correction of the spot market. It's more or less 10% below Q3 last year, still 10% above Q1 last year. On the other hand, the contracted rates, they have corrected much more mildly. Both they are less volatile and they are also impacted by the underlying uh, inflation of transportation costs. The softening of the demand is not really impacting the, the increase of prices on all transport categories and, uh, and solving the driver shortages. Now, if we look at a country by country basis, obviously the situation is different. The economy is still stronger in France and Germany. It's already into recession in UK and Spain, so this is also impacting local prices. We are bold and ambitious, as in anything SEVA undertakes. We recently issued our commitment to increase our EV fleet to 1,450 vehicles. This shows how serious we are about it and is aligned with our CMA Group commitment to net zero by 2050. Besides our focus on making an impact, our view is that sustainability and decarbonization is both a necessity but also an opportunity. It also brings in an additional complexity. We must reduce our emissions and we must reduce them fast. And that ever-increasing alignment on that necessity is getting shippers, carriers, 3PLs, OEMs and startup companies to collaborate even more effectively at implementing innovative solutions. The opportunity is about winning new business where players don't adapt. It's about doing our business better. And the complexity is about the learning curve and the try and error mode that comes with any new solution, be it dealing with the range or the charging of electric vehicles or the equipment swaps and transit time of multimodal solutions. Advice is always tricky to give, but if I had one, it would be for those who are skeptical about the necessity or still wonder about the opportunity. I believe most stakeholders still underestimate how decarbonization will reshape the whole economy and the logistics industry. So for those who don't act quick enough, they might end up in a difficult spot. As far as feedback is concerned, it's more personal. And what I would like to share is that onboarding the whole ground and rail community on that sustainability journey has been a huge motivation and satisfaction for both myself and all my colleagues. The first reason is a stronger sense of purpose. The second one is the satisfaction of keep learning and testing new solutions. Data has allowed to scale optimization and engineering that have always been the core of the DNA of SIVA. In ground and rail, there are so multiple problems to solve. How to better plan and adjust capacity to demand. How to maximize truck utilization. How to minimize mileage, even empty mileage. We've always been doing that, but data has allowed us to do that at scale and faster. We now enjoy a full suite of tools to optimize network line holes, PND routes, part loads consolidation, and round tripping. We announced two years ago a strategic and global partnership with Project 44 in order to better connect with our stakeholders, whether carriers to receive the data or customers to share the real-time visibility data. I'm pleased to announce that we are now live in 20 countries. We are tracking more than 100,000 FTL and a half a million LTL shipments every year. And on top of that, in the most mature countries, our success rate for tracking is above 90%. Now that this is achieved, the next goal is to consolidate all the data we also generate with our own tools so that we can share with the customers either with Project 44 or with MySiva and leave them the option.